Tonight's top EU stories from the UNIT website include The European Commission is unfit to dictate housing policies of an elected parliament. EU defends excluding Google's main site from settlement. And European Union teaches West Africa how to cheat, plunder, bully and fish unsustainably. EU's Energy Efficiency Review puts high target on the agenda and founder and architect of the unit Trevor Coleman retires. It's Monday 30th of June, I'm Rick Timmis and this is the unit Nightly News. First up, the top story from our homepage. The European Commission is unfit to dictate housing policies of an elected parliament. I read with horror recently that the European Commission now feels it's qualified to advise the Chancellor of the Exchequer on British housing policy. The fact that it's pronounced that Britain continues to experience macroeconomic imbalances which require monitoring and policy action, at the very least suggests its members have no sense of irony. Well, folks, we at the unit are not at all surprised by this, and frankly, neither should you be. You see, over the past 40 years, the greatest majority of governance power has been transferred to the EU. And come this November, a total of 43 broad stroke competencies will be under the control of the European Union. The UK government, my friends, has been dismantled, neutered, and in the next coming 18 to 24 months, these are the end days for democracy as we know it. You don't believe me? Well, look at the results of David Cameron's challenge to depose Jean-Claude Juncker as President of the EU Commission. Bows and arrows against the lightning, methinks. Now don't forget our live show on Thursday afternoon at 3pm, where we will be discussing the transfer of power and asking the question, have British ministers committed treason? Joining the panel will be Peter Brown, Gadman Dubs, the UK column and author of Treason at Maastricht, Rodney Atkinson. Join us here live at theunituk.com at 3pm. EU defends excluding Google's main site from settlement. European Union regulators defend their plan to exclude Google Inc.'s main search page from a proposed antitrust settlement, according to a letter they sent to an opponent. Hot Maps, a German mapping firm, was told by the EU that Google.com searches wouldn't be covered because it gets less than 5% of user searches in Europe. Google diverted user traffic away from competing specialised search services by prominently displaying its own services. Now, the EU is flexing its digital restraining muscles at the moment, but remember, the key story right now is the EU right-to-be-forgotten legislation. This provides a mechanism that allows the state to remove pages published to the public domain. EU teaches West Africa how to cheat, plunder, bully and fish unsustainably. So folks, remember all the reporting we did last year about the Shawari people and the fishing rights off the west coast of Africa. Well, if ever you doubted that putting the European Union in charge of environmental issues is a bit like inviting the Taliban to run Miss World, consider this story by Richard North about the characteristic blend of bullying, incompetence, corruption, greed, high-handedness, dishonesty and ineffectuality with which the EU is policing the fishing grounds off West Africa. EU's Energy Efficiency Review puts high target on the agenda. A 40% energy efficiency target for 2030 would grow Europe's economy at a rate of 4% a year, spark an annual 3.15% boost in employment and cut fossil fuel imports by 505 billion euros a year, say sources with access to a report prepared for the EU's forthcoming energy re efficiency review. Of course, this article doesn't state what those sources that came up with this euro claptrap are, but one suspects it's probably Ron Weasley and Harry Potter reporting from the pantry of the European soothsayers down at Diagon Alley. Let's not forget, folks, Germany has been experimenting with this for the last decade and has since come up trumps as the EU's highest polluter and found itself with runaway economic costs on account of its requirement to buy energy in from external sources. <music> 
founder and architect of the unit, Trevor Coleman, retires. Well, my friends, we are at the end of an era. The unit was created to put an end to the political agendas of the Lib Lab Con and to drive a campaign to bring about the facts about the true nature of the European Union to the people of Britain and indeed Europe. Trevor Coleman, MEP, realised through his work at the European Parliament and as a member of the UK Independence Party that nothing would be changed by the European Parliament. In fact, even by being involved with its undemocratic manipulation of member state governance, was doing nothing more than giving it air in which to breathe and legitimacy that it neither deserved or indeed had ever been given a mandate for. And trying to awaken the people of UK to the truth behind what was really taking place in this so-called common market could not be achieved from behind the badge of any political party, as by their very nature they all come with too much baggage and are mistrusted by the unawakened public. What was needed was a new vehicle, a new brand, something non-attached, untainted by the political machine, a non-partisan organisation that could and would bring the truth about the history of the European Union and the facts, even in the most obscure detail, out to the public, so that they might know the truth about the EU, its laws, regulations and institutions, and how this all affects you. In just a couple of years, the unit has organised a team of talented public speakers with well-equipped presentations and delivered close to 200 public speaking presentations. We have created over 400 online videos, short films and documentaries, amassed a database of over 12,000 people wanting to hear our news, read our newsletters and visit our website. We communicate with almost 6,000 people every day. But the most important part of the work that we have done is building a community of awakened people whose minds and opinions have changed now that they understand the true nature of the EU. All this structure was the vision of one man, Trevor Coleman. But on this day, the time has come for Trevor to move to Pastors New. After over 16 years of dedication to campaigning for freedom, liberty and most importantly, the right for people of Britain to govern themselves, Trevor is retiring. As of close of play today, the unit website will no longer be under the guidance of Trevor and we are cast adrift without captain, commander or chief. Our quest now is a challenge for survival. The unit costs £100,000 a year to maintain the current level of research, investigation, reporting, public speaking and filmmaking. And we have one month to organise a patronage of supporters and we need your help like never before. So, if you have ideas, schemes or thoughts of any kind about how we can continue the fight to awaken the public before the general election, then get in touch with either Andrew or I via the website. And so, in recognition of the inspiration, dedication and commitment that Trevor has shown to all of us at the unit, I leave you with a dedication to the awakening realisation about the European Union as written for us by Gadman Dubs, with video editing by the unit team. And later I'll raise a glass of fine Celtic whisky to our favourite Cornishman and leave you with these words of Welsh. Dioc du bendithia. Sick of them, I'll be sick of them. Too many man, I put them all causing problem. Sick of them, I'll be sick of them. I know the father's gonna come back for them. Sick of them, I'll be sick of them. Too many man, I put them all causing problem. Sick of them, I'll be sick of them. I'm calling to the father, cause he's got an end. The European system got us locked inside a prison. With unelected bureaucrats who just don't listen. Meanwhile, they dictate our daily decisions. Now there's less funding for our nation's position. Time will tell if the people will forgive them. A European order is the only single mission. This is serious time, so open up your eyes and listen. Can't you see they're on a crazy mission? Heartbeat, it's time to be the hasty retreat. It's been way too long, we've been dragging our feet. We're politically weak, if we let them cheat. At the next election, they'll suffer defeat. Their bad minded shepherds selling out their own sheep. It's too late to leave now for keeps we keep. Just like Iceland, the people will reap the benefits of the wages that they keep. Sick of them, I'll be sick of them. Too many man, I put them on causing problem. Sick of them.
them, I'll be sick of them And I know the father's gonna come back for them Sick of them, I'll be sick of them Do me that, I put them all causing problem Sick of them, I'll be sick of them I'm calling to the father, cause it got an end This European project, it makes no sense Use your referendum vote, don't sit on the fence They're weak in a pound, they're weak in a pence They'll never relent to the whole pot spent They'll even take the stash from under your bed If the truth be known, we're deep in the red So listen to listen to what I said Put down the guns and the lead The new world order, it's out of order Controlling your mind now, controlling your border Film it now, rub upon your little camcorder It's world disorder, it's world disorder Mankind's about to get hung, drawn and quartered Forget about selling your little quarter On the street corner, I warn ya Wake up, wake up, wake up, it's new world order Sick of them, I'll be sick of them Do me that, I put them on causing problem Sick of them, I'll be sick of them And I know the father's gonna come back for them Sick of them, I'll be sick of them Do me that, I put them on causing problem Sick of them, I'll be sick of them I'm calling to the father, cause it's got an end Sick of them, I'll be sick of them Sick of them, I'll be sick of them Sick of them, I'll be sick of them Sick of them, I'll be sick of them